Hello guys, welcome back once again. Today we are going to discuss NAT. In the previous session we discussed that was basically a theoretical session. We discussed about the static NAT, dynamic NAT and PAT that was basically port address translation. So in order to configure these things in the FortiGate firewall, I have taken this lab. So this is our FortiGate firewall, which I will be configuring for the purpose of NAT. And these are just our internal IP addresses. And I will be translating the source address of these IP addresses to some other IP. So for that one, I have taken this server. And uh, I can do it for the internet point of view, but uh, in the internet, I will not be able to uh, show you that how our source address has been translated. We can do though uh, that we can do packet capture on this interface and then I can show you that how the source has been changed. But uh, the easy way was to capture it via debug ICMP on this server that is basically a Cisco router. So I will be pinging through these machines to this server and this server will be showing that from which IP address the request is coming and to whom it is replying to right so that will be our target for that one we will be uh, setting up all the things so let's just do it so let me open uh, the FortiGate firewall uh, this is oh, don't uh, go to cli uh, we can go via gui so i open it the machine here the gui and uh, we can go to the policy and objects there we are having the firewall policy so our goal is to create a firewall policy here the first one we will create to allow this pc to reach to this machine i will just allow right now i cannot ping it uh, let me show you from this machine I will be trying to ping our server ping 172.16.1. I think that was 2.1. Let me confirm once again. Uh, yeah, that is 2.1, right? This IP, this is 172.16.2.1. So right now we are not able to ping it and it is request time dot as usual so we have to set up a policy for that uh, let me create a firewall policy create new name i'm good putting as a like uh, dmc server connectivity incoming interface will be port one outgoing interface for this one is server two port four source address i will be taking as same uh, network 10.1. somewhere it will be yeah here it is 10.1.1.0 network and this is my destination so i have taken this one and uh, service all i want to allow as of now and accept all the traffic that's fine and now i'm as of now i'm disabling the nat okay so i have not enabled the net as of now i have just allowed to uh, means the policy i have set up right so the traffic is allowed so i will be able to ping it now here it go uh, it is pinging now and the very important thing that we should come to know that from from which ip address the request is coming right so for that one i'm opening this server to and there i'm enabling debug debug ip icmp okay so as i do it and now if i ping it it will tell us that where i'm getting from right so echo reply sent source is this one 172.16.2.1 because we are in the machine right now on this machine and the reply is sent to this one this is our destination 10.1.1.1 means that uh, uh, we got the ping request here 
and now with this one it is replying to back so for this one this is our source address 172.16.2.1 from where we are in the server basically that router i have taken for the server and the destination it is replying to 10.1.1 it means that the request was coming from 10.1.1 that's why it is replying to this one now let me just configure the net now let's go to gui and uh, now our job is to enable NAT. Select this policy and just edit it. So our first job will be to, uh, we can have the same interface IP address, use outgoing interface address. It means that whatever the interface IP it is having right now on the port four, right? On this one this interface IP it will be taking 172.16.2.10 in order to reach to this one earlier it was taking as 10.1.1.1 because the request was initiating from this IP address right so this was the IP address it was replying to now if we enable the NAT and use outgoing interface means that this interface will be taken as the source address let's just enable it and let's see what it is doing actually Now oh, where it's going simple we we are not going to do anything just uh, we are enabling NAT and using uh, we are using use outgoing interface address that's it hit OK and now let's try to ping it that what it is doing I'm just uh, put, putting some space so that you can get clear that uh, what it is happening now and now we are pinging once again let's see what is happening on the server now we are seeing the request is coming from 172.16.2.10 this is the change right and this was our outgoing interface of the firewall perfect so this is basically sometimes we use it for the simplicity we don't have to configure any NAT pool any IP address we are not no, we don't want to do anything we are just simply enabling uh, use the destination port and it is taking but this is not uh, no quite uh, helpful or we can say the easy right so for that one uh, we just uh, use different type of pools or the different uh, static NAT right so let's just configure those select and edit so the, that option use dynamic pool now you might be thinking that what it is doing it is doing static NAT or dynamic NAT or pad so this is basically using pad port address translation because it is using one IP and trying to ping from that one now we, our target is to use use dynamic pool whenever we are selecting use dynamic pool it is giving this option to add right so I'm clicking plus add here click create now we are having three options here the first option is our overload that is you understand quite well that is basically pat means that port address translation will be used another one is one to one here we go this is static NAT what we were talking about right now that one to one mapping will be done with this fixed port range and port block allocation uh, let me just brief you but I'm not going to configure these fixed port range gives you the uh, we can say the permission to configure internal IP address as well as the external IP address it gives you privilege to use both of them let me show you at least so in the fixed port range you gain option for the external IP range as well as the internal IP range while one to one one to one means that internal IP addresses we already have here that how many internal IPs we will be getting our control is will be to configure the external IP addresses these IP addresses so for that one we can configure the pool here so let's suppose uh, we configure IP address from 200 .200 .200 to 
So it means that right now it can use two IP addresses as a pool. We can, okay, let me create a pool here. Uh, we can say the dynamic pool. And uh, hit okay. And now we can use this dynamic pool here. So now if I ping it from here, right? What is going to happen? It will use this IP address 200.200.1 in order to reach our server. I'm pinging here. Let me go to server. Now it is using IP address 200.200.200.1. Now you will be thinking when it will use the 200.2. So if I use another user at the same time, let us suppose this is pinging. So this is using our dot one IP. If I try to ping from this user, it will use 200.2 IP, but I'm not configured the IP address. Let me configure it. 1.5 I think it was and 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 10.1.1.10. That's it. And ping 172.16.1. Sorry, 2.1 I think it was. Let me check from where we are getting the now it is using the IP address 200.2 clear guys. Now here it comes the, you know, uh, another thing that we used an option as a overload pat overload. So let's configure that. We used option one to one. We were quite happy with that, but let me configure one more option that was basically overload we use one to one means that we have given the two ip addresses right and uh, same time if we use another ip address in order to reach that one it will not uh, ping because we have just two ip addresses and the two users has pinged so already the sessions or these ips are used for that one another third user cannot ping at the same time I'm going to use NAT overload here. You can use two IP addresses or you can just use a single IP address. I'm going to use single IP address here. Dynamic pool and just single IP, right? Now, if I ping from both the users, our uh, from the machine 10.1.1, I will ping it 2.1. And the same time I will be pinging from this another user 2.1. And now let's see from where the it is reply coming now you see it is sent eight replies to the same ip address 200.1 and the thing was that it has different port numbers let me show you the port number for that one i have to go to the 40 gate admin admin one two three and the command is get system session List. So now it is uh, telling you that which port number it is using in order to reach to the destination. So right now we will be we will be we are using this IP address 10.1.1.1. No, not this one. Uh, for the recent one, it will be using somewhere. We have somewhere we are having 200. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Uh, yeah, here we go. So it is using port number 53799. So that's how it is doing. This is using ICMP packet. Expired time it is mentioned, right? And this port number it is using for that communication. You see, that's how it is doing. When we uh, use this IP address 10.1.105, it used port number 54823. And the same it was using for the another one. Normally this happens that whenever we select the option uh, preserve source port that same port number used 
but sometimes it uses the same one otherwise it can use another port number as well but that's how the communication is happening it is using the same ip address 200.1 but the different port number so now that's how we learned uh, the first we learned about the use outgoing interface then we learned one to one then we used learned dynamic net we used that uh, 1.2 IP address 200.200.200.1 from to 200.200.200.2, right? And the third option we just saw that was overload. So that is basically PAT. So that's it for the NAT. And that's what I was talking about that I was discussing about the SNAT. SNAT stands for the source NAT whatever the translation we were doing till now that was just on the source IP address the next topic I'm going to cover it DNAT that is the destination NAT meanwhile keep practicing see you soon in the next session for the destination till that bye bye